Question number 5 has been taken from the topic radiation and the question is a combination of Stephen's law and Wynn's displacement law. It says two spherical stars A and B emit black body radiation and that has been given radius of A is 400 times radius of B and the power emitted by A is 10 raised to the power 4 times power emitted by B. If lambda A and lambda B are their wavelengths where peak radiation occurs, then we need to calculate lambda A upon lambda B. Okay, let's use the first fact. P A is 10 raised to the power 4 times P B and the power emitted would be sigma area of A T A raised to the power 4. There is no question of writing emissivity because that would be 1 and this is the Stevens constant and that would be 10 raised to the power 4 sigma A B T B raised to the power 4 and area would be 4 pi R square. So, eventually R A square T A raised to the power 4 would be 10 raised to the power 4 R B square T B raised to the power 4. And now let us see R A is 400 times the radius of B. So, this is going to be 16 into 10 raised to the power 4. That would be the value of R A square upon R B square. And T A 4 is 10 raised to the power 4 times T B raised to the power 4. This and this would get cancelled. And what I will be getting now is T A 4 by T B 4 is 1 by 16 and this finally leads T A by T B is 1 by 2. Now, these are their respective temperatures in Kelvin and we know from Wynn's displacement law, the wavelength where maximum radiation occurs is inversely proportional to T. So, quite obviously, lambda A by lambda B would be 2 and this is the correct integer for question number 5. Now, let us move on for question number 6. Question number 6 is from modern physics and it has been set from the topic of radioactivity. It says a nuclear power plant supplying electrical power to a village uses a radioactive material of half-life T. At the beginning, the amount of fuel is such that total power requirement of village is 12.5 percent of power from the plant. That means initially at T equals to 0 that is to be written. You could see that power from the plant is greater than the power requirement of the village and you could see power from the plant let it be PP and power requirement of village let us call it as PV. And power from the plant is time dependent because it has radioactive material. So, PP0 that is 40 equals to 0 and it is clear that PV is 12.5 percent of initial power from the plant. And now, one can always write in this way that would be equals to 1 by 8 of this particular thing. You could easily write that as 12.5 percent. So, 12.5 by 100 and that comes in this way. Now, slowly and steadily the power output from the plant would decrease because the radioactive materials would start disintegrating or decaying. And the question says if the plant is able to meet the requirement of Willis for maximum period of n t years the value of n. So, that is very clear. We are assuming that the power requirement of the village would be constant. So, as the power output from the plant would start decreasing, a time will come when its output would be 1 by 8 of the initial output. Beyond that, the plant would not be sufficient to deliver power to that village. So, quite obviously, 
that is 1 by 8 times so quite obviously it would be requiring 3 half life so therefore the value of n would be 3 so the correct integer for this question number 6 would be 3